defense here is Atkins. Another one. Spin Woo! inside. And a pretty layup for Joyner Holmes. Joyner Holmes and Ariel Atkins have a lot in common. We go to the same church here at home. Former high school superstars at Cedar Hill and Duncanville. They united at the University of Texas. Holmes has it. And now they play in the WNBA. Ariel Atkins. Like most WNBA players, during the offseason, Atkins and Holmes play overseas. It's crazy. Never in my life, I was telling my mom the other day, I would have thought me and Ariel would play in Ukraine. Back in August, the North Texas natives reunited to play for Promete, a basketball club in Ukraine. Two weeks before Russia invaded, Holmes and Atkins flew home for winter break. Unable to go back due to a travel restriction, they rejoined their team in Bulgaria for the Euro Cup tournament. Their next game was on February 24th, the same day the war began. To think that, like, wow, I was literally just there. Like, I know what these cities look like. I know what they're supposed to look like. And now Kiev is literally into shreds. Like, it's crazy. It's kind of hard to watch stuff on the news and you see these cities that are in Ukraine that you've been to and they're all just destroyed, you know? You didn't see them like that when you left, and so it's kind of, it's just, it's really heartbreaking. As a show of unity and support, Holmes, Atkins, and the entire team wore Ukrainian flags during player introductions. So just trying to be there for them as much as possible, even though you can't really experience what they're feeling, but you kind of know, because you know these people. I have two teammates that actually have children. One of them, my point guard, she actually had her child with her. My other teammate, her child was in Ukraine. He still is in Ukraine. He's a five-year-old. I actually have two teammates that have husbands there and they don't know if they're gonna have to enter the war or not. Just scared, you know, these people are really scared. They showed me pictures of like real life pictures of people actually sleeping in the subway because that was the safest place to sleep a couple weeks ago. Atkins and Holmes flew back to Dallas this past weekend while their Ukrainian teammates have taken refuge in Poland. I'm just glad that they've been able to get in contact with their families and figure out what's going on with them and a lot of their families are in really safe places and so that's really good. Hopeful for safer and better days ahead. You know, you grow to love these, like learn to love these people. They're like family to us now. You've been with them for so long. In Cedar Hill, I'm Jonah Javad.